All right, hello everyone. This is Crota giving you game one in a team series between Axiom's Ryong and MVP's Sniper here on a uh, new Kirk precinct. Ryong spawning as the blue Terran player over here on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Sniper spawning as the red Zerg over here on the bottom right. Ryong bot on the bottom left. Hopefully, I didn't get my left and right confused as the game is now getting underway. Now, I've been looking for some series, trying to look for some games out there, and because there's only been these Team Story Cups, which I do very much enjoy watching, um, well, I, I have to obviously cast this. So um, every game is going to be different. I believe it's more King of the Hill style, where each player sends up a lineup against, or each team sends a lineup against another team, and you basically have a number of lives, four lives, five lives, not quite uh, not quite sure how many is in this particular series, but you just try to defeat the other team. Now, we'll see what's going to be going on here in this Terran versus Zerg as Ryong looks like he will be going for a command center first. A very, very risky move here on Newkirk. The walking distance is is about your average distance, but we are going to see that Sniper already moving out with a rather early drone is going to scout this out. It looks as though Sniper will be going for that 15 hatch though, so just wait for the drone to grow up. It is going to be that 15 hatch. There you go. So 15 hatch to combat, a, or a 15 command center to combat a 15 hatchery. The only real problem though is that Sniper is going to spot this, and, and Sniper may come in with the block. This is huge. <coughs> as the economic damage um, is going to be rather significant. All right, it looks as though another command center are going to be um, built over here instead, as we can see that the drone is now being pushed back. Now, it's important to note that Sniper doesn't really know what's going on up on the high ground. He just came in, he saw that the SCV was making a move towards the command center location or towards the natural expansion, and, and he thought to himself, hmm... Perhaps my opponent is trying to go command center first. We may see the drone now slip in. Yes, it will. And it is going to slip in right there as the command center is still being built off to the north. Ryung just a little bit behind. But this is going to be turning into an economic game. Sniper will most likely follow this up with double queens and two zerglings to get a little bit of map control. Meanwhile, Ryung is going to most likely follow this, follow this up with a factory and some hellions in order to get some map control as well. Now, if for some reason Sniper did try to go for a two base play, perhaps with roaches, then what we can see instead is Siege Tanks and Widow Mines to play defensively. Terran players have a little bit more options now. Um, just in case a Zerg player tries to be aggressive off of two bases, Terran players can train Siege Tanks, not have to worry about getting that Siege Tech, and with that Siege Tank be able to hold off, um, you know, perhaps a 5 to 8 Roach push with a couple of Zerglings. Now let's come in over here. You can see the factory is now being pl is placed down. And we're waiting for perhaps a bunker here at the natural expansion. So far, Sniper does not look like he's setting up a third base. And here, Sniper does have two options. He can either try to expand here or expand here. Now, if, he do if Sniper does choose to expand here, it is expanding towards his opponent slightly. But he doesn't need to cover nearly as much area um, in terms of surface area, it basically the circumference or the perimeter is much, much smaller as opposed to trying to take this high location here. Terran players have been or using drops very efficiently, and because they've been using drops very, very efficiently, I've seen a lot more Zerg players try and take this expansion. It's much more difficult to take this or uh, to drop onto this expansion as queens from the high ground can support as well, slashing down on the low ground. Also, creep tumors are much easier to um, spread it down into this location, allowing faster reinforcements. Now let's take a look back here. Ryung doing an oldie but a goodie, and it looks like it, no, it is not gonna be, as I originally thought, um, reactor hellions into banshees. It is instead going to be reactor hellions into siege tanks. So the siege tanks will be a much more defensive unit here, trying to hide perhaps right here on the high ground or even right here on, on the high ground, being able to cover any units that try to come up that ramp. 
an overlord trying to suicide its way in. It will not spot anything of importance. It will spot a tech lab, but this is actually perhaps going to do more harm than good. What, we're actually going into blue flame? All right, this is very, very old school. As you see the Hellions going after all of those Zerglings. Blue Flame does help out Hellions in being able to two-shot Zerglings, but you really need an armory in order to finish things off. Without that additional plus one weapons upgrade, the drones are not able to two-shot drones. But perhaps Ryung is hoping to get more map control and being able to take down more Zerglings in the engagement as the Metabolic Boost needs about 50 more seconds, Infernal Pre-Igniter needs about 60, a 10 second difference between these two upgrades which is going to come into play here. So far, we can see Ryong is transitioning, or already transitioned into two gas play. Meanwhile, Sniper already on four extractors. You can see him now teching the tier two. He doesn't really need this much gas that early. And with the layer, and then perhaps a Spire to follow up, or an Infestation Pit, he's going to have a large amount of gas for those very, very expensive gas-heavy Zerg units, such as Infestors and Mutilus. The key question will be, does Ryong know about this, and will he be able to respond and react accordingly? So far, you can see Hellions now making their way out. A lot of Hellions making their way out. We can have a total of 13 Hellions, and these Hellions are just going after these Creep Tumors. The Zerglings may perhaps try to get a surround here, not knowing the rest of the Zerglings, or the rest of the units that are already on the field. Drones not getting picked apart, and it doesn't matter. Blue Flame Hellions all over the place. The Queen now going to get taken down. A new Queen now trying to sit in position. That is just simply too much splash damage as another queen is going to fall. Ryong is not able to push through here. This was a key, key mistake uh, as the Zerglings are now trying to take this out. All right, one Evolution Chamber may get taken down. It was finally canceled. The Banelings now making their way over and a huge splash there. All right, is it going to be enough? The Banelings now trying to make their way in. Zerglings, Hellions, both sides battling it out. There you have it. There's the contain and a huge Baneling smash by Sniper. And what could have potentially been a whole bunch of dead workers is now only at an 8 worker kill count as 3 drones has made it into the 3rd base. So Sniper responding extremely well to what would normally take down many, many, um, t um, take down many Zerg players was able to just stop and contain all of those units there. You can see the Zerglings were torched, but that double evolution or double evolution chamber wall, it looked as though perhaps the Hellions could slip through that small crack. In fact, they could not. Zerglings could get through, but the Hellions could not, forcing the Hellions to try to take down that Evo chamber. The evolution chamber is not a light unit, does not take additional damage from blue flame Hellions, and you saw what happened there as the Hellions were unable to knock down that front door. Hellions now looking to perhaps control in the center again. You can see and take a look. One Hellion, very low on hit points, is going to stay at that Zelnaga Tower as a Sniper and Ryung perhaps trying to figure out what their next plan of attack will be. Spire is coming into play. We should have enough for about 9 Mutilus as soon as that Spire is done. Perhaps 8 to 9. Yeah, it will be um, about 8 as we now see the, or the Hellions making their way in. Unable to really poke in here as Sniper has very strong creep spread. At this point, Ryung in a very good situation. He has a bunker. He has a couple of supply depots. Right here, missile turrets are being placed down. Perhaps he is expecting those Mutilists. Mutilists, however, are extremely um, extremely resilient now that they have that improved health regeneration. Poor Hellion needed to go get some body work done. Instead, decided to stay at his post at his Onaga Tower only to get destroyed. Not quite sure um, why Ryong didn't send it back and perhaps get it repaired. As you see, uh, the North... As the North Zergling now getting taken out as well. So Marines are being added here. We are now going into bioplay with Widow Mines as we now see the Drilling Claws coming in. All right, a couple Creep Tumors. Looks like they could have been taken down. Yes, they will in fact be taken down as the Marines and the Hellions doing a very, very strong move here. Now, the problem is still going to be we have the Zerg Flyer attack, Pneumatized Carapace. The units will be moving much more quickly as the Mutilus now pushing in 
to the bottom left hand side of the map hellions trying their best to make sure that they're able to take down these creep tumors and engage extremely well oh this could be bad a little bit sleep at the wheel as rung is not defending here widow mine oh that widow mine was did not engage i'm not quite sure why as you can see that the widow mine could perhaps target down a mutal a block of mutalist and take them down in an instant four widow mines in position two of them have not fired yet oh there is another widow mine no drilling claws unable to get there in time as we're still seeing a bit of an engagement going back and forth. All right, the Zerg is not going to perhaps try to come in from the far side and flank. That is going to be a bad hit there as the, oh, the Banelings did not get taken down. And instead, Sniper will roll over this positioning and Rung will have to perhaps go back and lick his wounds. 133 supply compared to 133. The reinforcements are now just arriving. The Widow Mines need to be taken down. Yes, the Overseer is nearby. Overseer with Pneumatized Carapace is a very fast detector. 2.75 movement speed. As fast as an upgraded Zealot. Now, let's come in here. You can see supply depots are down. Making it difficult for Zerglings to try and run by. A refinery should be placed down there in just a moment. Ryong already sitting on beyond maximum supply here. 25 over 24 workers. Two more SCVs here. One more or three more SCVs there. And that will be decent saturation here at the third base. Meanwhile, Sniper has taken up his fourth base. And rather taking the very forward location. I believe he's just taking it for gas. And he's not going to be placing that many drones there. That is a very smart move. He just needs gas at this point. As you see, the gas is 800 a minute versus 500 at this point. And without this additional refinery, Ryung is going to be low in terms of gas. You can see he is rather mineral heavy, even though he is training up a whole bunch of Marines, Marauders, spending a lot of uh, gas shoulder mainly on upgrades as the marines are still trying to push back here all right the marines gonna perhaps catch up to the overseer no it will not as the banelings now make a move over all right sniper seeing that 182 army food army supply count is about even we are pretty much neck and neck as a battle now raging on here in the center marines getting surrounded banelings are going to catch this and without siege tanks and all of these units just not in a very good position at all. That is, This is not going to work out well. All right, there is the Widow Mine hit. But was it enough? I don't believe so. As Rung now down about 30 to 40 supply. Marauder is now looking to back away. One poor Marauder gets taken down. And Sniper has a bit of breathing room on both sides all right with a bit of breathing room off to the north and off to the south he can easily take this expansion or most likely this expansion here is finally sending in some drones here that is not 20 drones more on the way as the main base as is nearly mined out ryong now also taking this center expansion location and upgrading it to a planetary fortress all right Medivac now looking to perhaps do a drop on the far side. Mutilus looking to fly in here. Are they going to burrow in time? And oh, unable to burrow. That is a huge loss there. As the Widow Mine, if it is able to burrow, it only needs one second to burrow and then get off that necessary charge. Medivac still flying around here. Will they perhaps get taken down? Oh, that change thing will actually not activate it. Oh, what is it doing? Oh, Sniper able to walk all the way in with that changeling. And that is a bit of a lucky break as we now see Banelings completely taking down the planetary fortress here. Marines and Banelings trying to fight off against Zerglings. Or Marines and Marauders trying to fight off uh, Zerglings, Banelings, and Mutalis. Bling Mutaling, essentially. As those Banelings are going to be able to roll over all of those Marines in just a matter of seconds. A new command center now coming into play for Ryung. Is it going to be enough? Sniper seeing that now 200 supply with a lot of gas to work with. He has plenty of gas and will be able to re-max up on Mutalis at a moment's notice. 21. 
supply verse uh, 21 supply or 21 mutilist 42 supply of mutilist now currently in the air you can see zerg flyer carapace upgrades level one coming in and this is important as the marines are upgraded three three the zerglings and the banelings are only upgraded two two and any engagement is gonna heavily favor ryong just in terms of upgrades now mutilists trying to find their target zerglings now coming in from the back as well the banelings are finding their targets here as ryong now taking just a lot of damage and the Mutilus in the skies plus the Zerglings on the ground absolutely destroying everything as the Mutilus now finish off the last of the Marauders and the Marines. Uh, so far we can see one command center here. All of those Mutilus are now looking to back away. Perhaps regroup themselves. You can see one burrowed Zergling right there and that one burrowed Zergling will eat up another scanner sweep most likely. As the Mutilists now push in off to the north. Natural expansion pretty much wide open. Mutilists completely taking down SCVs in a matter of seconds. Multiple SCVs getting taken down here. Are we going to see the refinery go? Yes, we will. Down it goes as the Mutilists are now backing off again. All right, where is that Overseer? I believe the Overseer was that in fact shot down. Banelings trying to find their Marines. Marine targets unable to catch up to them again. As the Mutilists now... In attempting to engage against that command center. All right, Mutilus still backing away. You can see that the Banelings with movement speed um, as fast as, I believe, a Stalker, faster than a Marine if it's on creep. And the Mutilus once again just come inside here and may be able to wreck the entire base. Marine after Marine is getting taken down. Mutilus is... Uh, all these uh, Mutilus are now falling. As you can see, both sides are continuing the fight. More Marines being brought up to the north. And Ryong now finally perhaps trying to upgrade to a planetary fortress. No, decides not to, as he is still 30 supply behind. Things are not looking good for Ryong. Ryong has lost a little bit less, but then at the same time, he has mined a bit less as well. 76 worker supply compared to 56. 103 or 105 versus 102 army sizes do look comparable. But the Zerg army just is that much stronger. We're now with a 15 supply advantage. Or actually 10 supply advantage. So not quite sure what's going on there. Simply not that many gas units. No Thors. No, uh, just mainly Marine, Marauder, and Medivacs. As you see a beautiful hit come in from one of or two of those Widowmines. Zerglings now trying to engage. Oh, Banelings melting their target once more. Are they going to be able to do enough as the Banelings are all trying to run? There they go as the Marines are now trying to get back. Oh, this could potentially be bad. And wow, so much blood in this one pocket right there. The Mutilus now coming in. And we now see Sniper with his own counter going for Burrowed Banelings. Burrowed Banelings, a very dangerous comp combination. They can take down a group of Marines in just a second. And what will be that um, attack just quite next? All right, let's see. Zerglings going after, able to take down a couple of free units here. One SCP does get taken down. There is a burrowed Zergling here off to the front and keeping track of Ryong's units. Always a very smart play whenever you can burrow such a low supply unit just to get sight. Marauders and Marines now making their way over as the Mutilists are still sitting at level 9. More Marines are gathering off here. Unit production, or unit production, we currently have eight barracks on the field. And we are still seeing a strong push coming in from Rung. As Rung is still behind by about, what is that, 25 supply, no, um, 17 supply now. And closing. Mutilus now making the way inside the base. One supply depot is now taken down. Another one supply depot may get taken down here. Down it goes. All right, are we going to be going after the supply depot? That one, no. Could at least try to burn it down, but the, the, the third base is nearly mined out. Another battle here in the center as we are now transitioning into Ultralis. Sniper should be able to take down this bio army if he lands an easy fungal growth. That seems to be the strategy as of now. Ultralis now coming back out. Banelings now trying to come back out. Mutilus coming back out as well as we can see the attack now can now just raging on. Widowmines already did their thing and will the Ultralis perhaps find their targets? Mutilus now making their way in as well. And this is going to be a situation where Ryong needs to fight this but he also needs to retreat. 
And the game is not going well in favor of him. We are now sitting at 107 or 103 supply versus 146. Anytime there's a 40 supply discrepancy after a fight, that does severely hurt as it does take time for all of your units to retrain and get back in the position. Ryong now being brought over or now bringing over some mutilists. You can see one poor Zergling has been taken down here. What is happening next? The mutilists and these overseers now ready to come in. And here we go. Is he going to take down a medevac? Oh, not able to take down a medevac at all. The medevacs um, somehow repairing each other or just very, very fast movement speed is able to get away. Down goes a marine. And what is going to be happening next? A whole group of marines once more come in. And Sniper down to about a 70 supply advantage could really clean this up. All right, let's see what is in the production tab. Five Ultralists, 20 Banelings, one Infester. That is going to severely bloat up Sniper's overall army size here in just a second. All right, Mutilus trying to take down this one poor Widow Mine. It does not do so without taking a flock of hits there. Um, I believe this Mutilus, yes, down to 29 hit points. Just bring over a Marine. I believe the Marine can just three-shot it and take it out. Or maybe four-shot. Eh, yeah, probably four-shot. All right, Mutilus now looking to come in here. Is it going to be enough? Mutilus still flying off to the corners at the, what, 10 o'clock position. You can see Sniper has controlled pretty much half the map. The only map spot he has not, she has not controlled is here. Why did I call Sniper she? Anyways, Ryong now continuing to be brought over. It looks as though the Ultralists are just going to come in, chase, and try to win this outright in a very, very uh, dom dominating. I'm just going to attack move with my entire forces. What are you going to do about it? Not much you really can do, right? And now the Ultralist perhaps going to make his way. Um, nope, that, actually had tr that expansion has been taken down. Ultralist still charging in. Marines now trying to stutter step. This is not looking good. And there is the GG by Ryong. Unable to take a game off of Sniper. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.